Juba has left Vivian a note. He is in Paris now, and probably is gone for good. She decided to stick the note into one of her handbags and leave for the shore. Her first stop is a lonesome traveler's meadow. In order to forget about a former Parisian expatriate, she decided to do a few good deeds on this treacherous piece of land. This rabbit, for example, was desperately racing with a turtle. Until he met Vivian. Her next stop is a memory rinsing beach. A lot of people come to the seaside to rinse their memories, so to speak. She never gets why. Wouldn't the tide just send them all back? In fact, she's very well petrified, seeing all the memories being washed ashore. She could have been swallowed by them. Being so small and alone, after all. Her next stop is a getaway bay. Maybe she could find some redemption here if she looks hard enough. She's looking up to the horizon, wondering whether she should take a boat to France. I'm not going to France. Then she's decided to have some fun by herself. Finally, she's returned to the beach. This time with hope and relief. Now she is ready to read his note. The wrapping, the writing, all showing a gentle touch of love. Maybe he's not gone. Maybe he's going to come back. Maybe she doesn't have to be alone at all. Well, now it's up to her. <laughs>